Hello everybody, welcome to another one of these mini lectures in algebraic geometry. In this one we are going to define projective spaces. These are spaces whose points are vector spaces again. But uh, fortunately not any old vector spaces but a special type of vector spaces namely um, one-dimensional vector spaces. So this is what is written over here. And of course, um, we are going to draw a picture or two in a moment. Let's first look at the definition. So um, the projective space, the n-dimensional projective space, is the space of, or the set, um, of one-dimensional subspaces of the affine space An plus 1. So you might think of uh, R n plus 1. So if n is 2, this would be R3. And this is what we have uh, drawn here, uh, two copies of R3. And um, so this means um, if uh, n is, is 2, then let's try to, to draw uh, this uh, P2 in this picture. So this would be all one-dimensional um, subspaces of A3, so this is A3, and now, of course, I cannot draw all one-dimensional subspaces. I'm going to draw a few, let's, let's take a, a green chalk. I don't know if you can see this, yeah, it should be okay. So this. Uh, light green line would be one-dimensional. Of course, this continues in both directions. Would be a one-dimensional vector space, vector subspace of, uh, of A3 and this one, and maybe let's draw one more, this one, and so on. I'm not going to draw too many because the picture will get, uh, will get messy. But this set of green lines, if you will, this is what uh, P2 is. And, well, for the higher dimensional uh, case, you have to resort to the definition because we cannot draw this anymore, obviously. And um, now we can endow this, this protective space with a set of coordinates. And these coordinates are called homogeneous coordinates. And these coordinates have the peculiar, pecu peculiar uh, feature that they are um, defined only up, to, um, only up to a constant. So let me show you. Um, this, would be, uh, this would be a coordinate. In the, in the projective space. So x1 to xn. Um, this could be, for instance, this, this subspace here. But note that this is, so, so this would be a subspace spanned by the vector x1 to xn. But of course, uh, the vector lambda x1 to lambda xn so multiplying this vector by some non-zero lambda would span the same subspace. So as I said, these homogeneous coordinates are only defined up to multiplication by non-zero lambda. And um, well, another way to say it is um, these, uh, the, the points uh, in the projective space are really um, equivalence classes, equivalence classes of vectors. This vector is in the same equivalence class as this one, or in other words, uh, two, um, two vectors are in the same equivalence class. If there is some non-zero lambda such that multiplying uh, the first gives uh, by lambda gives, gives the second. And um, well, that is already the definition of protective space. Now let's uh, begin to look how this relates 
geometrically, we will have to say more about this uh, in the second lecture on this topic, but let's begin to look at how this relates geometri geometrically, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, geometrically uh, to uh, AN, to the affine space. So uh, from AN, we can have a map, which we call F, to PN, and what this will do is it will send x1 to xn, so this is a, this is a vector in an, it will send this vector to, to this equivalence class, 1, x1, x2, xn. Um, you can visualize this as, as a plane in, in our case. In our case, uh, as a plane, um, so here's, here's, here's one, and let's see if I can draw this. Uh, right? perfect drawing but I think you can get the idea uh, this is a this is a plane that is uh, at height one so th this plane sits here at height one so yes here's, here's one and um, every every uh, every vector uh, a n gets mapped to um, to a point in this plane and then to the equivalence class. Um, so what it really gets mapped to is, let's, let's draw it like this. So this would be the point where, um, where the vector a1 x, I mean, 1 a x1 to xn uh, punctures this plane, so this is a vector in a n plus 1, and uh, if we look at it at f um, as, a, as a map from a n to p n, Obviously, we have to map to a vector space over here, and this means uh, we map this point to this uh, to this vector space here. So, so every point gets mapped to a vector space, and uh, obviously we can have a map in the other direction, in the this one. So, so. Uh, this equivalence class t, x1, xn, we simply divide by t, then we get 1 again, and uh, what this graphically means is that we take, we take such an element, su such a, a one-dimensional vector space, and we map it back to this point where uh, this vector space uh, passes through this uh, plane here. And uh, so we have uh, we have a bijection, um, but this uh, note that uh, this map F has uh, as image only those equivalence classes where this first entry is unequal to zero, which leaves us with the question: What is what? What about the points that have zero here? But uh, at least one entry x1 to xn, which, which is unequal to zero. So these look like these. And, um, well, if, if this first entry is zero, so this means that x, uh, the x0 entry is zero, then uh, these points um, lie in the x1, uh, I mean, in the, this should be a two, in the x1, x2 plane, so maybe like this, right? This would 
be such a vector space that corresponds to such a homogeneous coordinate. And uh, well, um, what we are going to see in the next lecture is that we can view um, the set of these vector spaces. So, or in other words, the set of these points where the first entry is zero. Um, we can view them as points at infinity. Um, you might have heard uh, someone uh, saying that uh, parallel lines um, intersect at infinity and um, what we're going to see in the next lecture is the precise meaning uh, of this uh, statement. And um, well, that's all for uh, this mini lecture. Thank you for watching. Um, hope you stay tuned for the next one. Um, see you soon.